header. So guys, if your iPhone 10 won't turn on after an iOS 16 update or not powering on suddenly without any reason and just showing this black screen, then without wasting any more time, let's see how to fix this issue. Now, first of all, I'm going to just tell you, don't worry. If it's happening randomly, this might be happening just for some system crash and it's hardly a hardware issue. Now, bear with me, I know you have already charged it. Still, we're going to first charge our iPhone. But before that, just to save my time, I will try the charger with another device to see if that's functional. If it works, connect it with your iPhone 10 and leave it on charge untouched at least for an hour. If your iPhone 10 is still not powering on, now while it's on charge, still connected, try to force restart your iPhone. Press and release the volume up and down button and keep pressing this power button until you see Apple logo on your screen. If your iPhone is turned on, great. If it's still not powering on, don't worry, we're still here for you. Now we're gonna try to take it into recovery mode. For that, you'll have to connect your iPhone 10 with a Windows or Mac, whatever is available to you right now, with a Lightning to USB-A or C cable. And if you're using a Windows like us, make sure to download an updated iTunes version. Now, after they're connected, we're going to force restart our iPhone once again to take it into recovery mode. And now keep pressing the side button a little longer, like 25 to 30 seconds if needed, till it shows a connect to computer icon. If it doesn't show anything, your screen is still black, don't worry. Just open up iTunes and check if it's detected on iTunes. If your iPhone is recognized on iTunes, proceed to update and restore. And as you can understand, this will delete all data from your iPhone. If you're okay with that, just follow the prompts and factory reset your iPhone. If the factory reset is successful, your iPhone 10 will restart in the setup mode with hello in different language. And you will just have to reset up your iPhone again. But if iTunes couldn't recognize your iPhone 10 whatsoever, without wasting any more time, immediately contact Apple support and look for a more suitable solution and see if it's a hardware issue or not. Thanks for watching.